Divine Protection, beautiful souls, thank you so much for tuning and tapping in for your daily collective message. I will, each and every one of you are feeling amazing, grounded, balanced, and in alignment. Everything is everything on my side of the planet. I wanted to take a little peeky peek, see what's coming in, what's going out, what's going on with the collective energy. Um, so thank you so much. If you are first timers, if you're new here, Welcome to the Soul Tribe. My name is Q. Channel messages intuitively. I am an empath and I'm also clear audience. So the way that things work on my side of the planet is I listen to music and the name of the song, lyrics within the song, the name of the artist, maybe even the timestamp of the song. It will all correlate to what I may be channeling intuitively as well as what the cards may be showing. And it all tends to blend very beautifully. My spiel here is eat the fish spit out the bones if the reading doesn't apply let it fly by check it the next day see if it is it if it's applicable to you uh, my readings are also timeless so whenever you have found this video or whenever this video has found you that was in fact divine timing and in divine order so without further ado we're going to just dive right in so let's see what time we have on the clock it is currently six 50 on the clock so 650 reduces okay there we go 650 reduces to 11 so 11 is a master number 11 is also one half of the 1111 which is that twin flame number uh, but 11 breaks down to 2 so some of you all could be uh, finding yourselves feeling very balanced right now maybe you're doing some meditations maybe you've committed yourself to waking up and doing yoga or going out and taking a nature walk or a nature jog or riding your bike uh, maybe some of you all are, are just out in nature, period, and that is allowing for you to ground yourselves, to keep yourselves, um, you know, balanced and in alignment with your higher self. What we have playing on the playlist is we have, um, who is this? So this is Black Star, which is most deaf, and Talib Kweli, and this is called Definition. So some of you all, I feel like you are doing things that are defining you. It's very defining what you're doing. So maybe, you know, in the past, um, you were just kind of blowing in the wind and now you're more um, intentional with your actions. So you're doing things that define you, whether that be uh, creatively, artistically, whether that be uh, just expressing yourselves, um, whether that be just like I said, meditating, maybe you're doing breath work, maybe you're going out and you're just committing yourself to, uh, to exercise or to um, you know, decompress, de-stress. Uh, but I feel like you are doing things that are very defining at this moment. Maybe perhaps uh, with that too, um, I do feel like maybe there's a truth that's going to come to light. Maybe you're going to have some sort of epiphany. Maybe you were kind of stuck in two minds, uh, maybe going through some sort of mental conflict, and maybe there's going to be a very defining moment or a very pivotal moment uh, that you will um, experience in these next couple of days, next couple of weeks, perhaps even next couple of months. On the bottom of the numerology deck, we have synchronicity. So with that synchronicity, 87 breaks down to 15, which is six. So I do feel like maybe you're seeing things, um, you know, in a very synchronized manner. Perhaps you're seeing synchronized numbers. Maybe you could be seeing 888, 777, 666. Maybe you're seeing 222, 1111. Um, these are signs that spirit angels are leaving for you. So these are like divine interventions from the divine. Even if this isn't numbers you're seeing, or perhaps you're just having a certain experience where you're bumping into the same animal totem, or maybe a feather is floating by all the time. Maybe you're bumping into the same little insect, like a ladybug, maybe a butterfly. Those are very defining moments. Those are very, um, Defining moments because those those are nudges from spirit or little confirmations from spirit uh, that you are to perhaps take 
a certain approach or maybe they are encouraging you to look up the spiritual meaning of that animal totem or that synchronized number um, I feel like something is defined is a defining moment with definition playing by black star what we have in the split is time out and we have this 87 synchronicity so a lot of you all have been in seclusion I feel like you've been isolated really working on yourselves perhaps uh, with that six I'm getting a sense of also like the six of wands uh, there's going to be a victory this is almost like spirit is saying you are aligning with your purpose or you've aligned with your purpose and now there's going to be a very defining moment a pivotal moment in your lives because of the time you've taken to work on yourselves or to work on something in particular uh, with this 137 I do feel like uh, you know that one is about action so one is telling me you are uh, on the precipice of some sort of brand new beginning or some sort of brand new start with black star uh, I'm getting like perhaps you know maybe there's in this air of uh, hoping wishing praying um, maintaining that optimism um, you know maybe you've been uh, you know taking leaps of faith uh, perhaps sending up prayers and petitions uh, I feel like there's absolutely uh, perhaps an answer to your prayer something is uh, coming full circle as I said it's a very defining moment so we're gonna tap in spirit let's see what we have coming and going out going on for the beautiful collective energy spirit with a message of peace power and protection all right, so we're going to cut the deck. I cut my deck three times, three different directions. Uh, spirit of peace, power, and protection. And right now we have the Skydiver. And this is by Casa Overall. Yeah, so some of you all definitely, um, as I said, you're taking a leap. You know, maybe you're going to feel like you're on cloud nine because with the sky, I just heard, uh, you know, on cloud nine. And I feel it's because you've taken the time to really meditate on something you've contemplated on something you've kind of like maybe you've gone and and like uh earlier i was speaking to like going out in nature and and really meditating and grounding yourselves grounding your energy and um i feel like that has helped you to come to some sort of conclusion or some sort of uh find some sort of resolve uh so what we have on the bottom of the deck we have happy ending here so this happy ending, look at that. So that 93 still breaks down to three. So you're going to be very excited about something. I feel like there could be some, um, an excited outcome, you know, a very exciting outcome. I feel like this is, uh, absolutely has everything to do with the actions that you have taken, whether that be, as I said earlier, um, meditating to get something straight, whether that be, um, mastering your craft, honing your skills, uh, whatever you've been doing, there's a very defining moment here, and it's bringing joy, it's bringing happiness. Uh, I feel a sense of contentment, um, but I also feel like this is showing with this 93 that breaks down to 12, that you have really looked at things, you've really taken the time to assess, um, you know, to really assess uh, a circumstance. And I feel, as I said, with spirit, um, showing up I felt like spirit was really working with you to show you something so there was uh, something that's a very defining moment maybe you're seeing something for the first time um, because that 12 is associated with the hangman so it's as if spirit has put you in a sacrificial position uh, so that you would not just be reactionary but more so proactive <clears throat> my throat is getting blocked so I feel um, maybe you know you've you've kind of silenced yourself for a moment so that you can find the clarity um, but I do feel like with this happy ending maybe you went through something very turbulent uh, and now you're coming out of you know that turbulence you're coming out of uh, the fog and there seems to be clarity there seems to be some sort of illumination here that's taking place and I feel it's because um, you're trusting your gut instinct or you've trusted your gut instinct you're trusting um, something that you're trusting something that um, that you're doing because you know uh, that you're doing what feels right 
sits right in your spirit. Uh, three is associated with the Empress energy. So I do feel like there's a level of self-mastery, like you've worked your way up to this. So there's like personal growth. Uh, there's like, you know, an evolution of you, even if you're a masculine and you're in that Emperor energy. The Empress and Emperor are defined as, uh, you know, the divine feminine, the divine masculine energy. Um, the three is also associated with the solar plexus. So that's the sun that shines within you. So perhaps you're following uh, your inner wisdom, you're following your gumption, and uh, it's leading to a happy ending because you are uh, taking the time to balance yourself, to ground yourselves, to unwind, or to, um, you know, relax your mind so that you can come to a positive outcome. So that's positive. I love that. What we have playing right now is Kindred, the family soul, and this is called Where Would I Be? So you could be reflecting on where you would be um, had you not made a, a cautious decision or had you not taken the time, um, you know, to really contemplate your next move. Uh, maybe you realize that, you know, you going in that space to seclude yourself or in isolation to come up with a better strategy. Um, it has saved you from a very... Uh, unfortunate or misfortunate circumstance so it's like you're you could be reflecting because when you're asking where would i be that sounds like you know deep reflection like you're introspecting and reflecting on um past actions and because of that you now have some sort of happy ending so that's the overall ending um, um energy is that there's a happy ending collective what we have on the bottom of the deck is 74 nature so I was picking up on the fact that some of you all were, in fact, um, taking nature walks, going out in nature. And this was allowing for you to uh, become very grounded. This was allowing for you to feel in alignment with your higher self, uh, tapping into your Christ consciousness, your God frequency. So that's very beautiful. And remember, it was... Uh, uh, six, what was it? It was 650, I believe, when we started the reading, which was 11. And the 74 reduces to 11. So I am feeling strongly um, like you absolutely, uh, you know, were able to find uh, some form of equilibrium by just going out in nature. And this has, to some degree, helped to heal you. It has helped to, uh, you know, bring you into alignment, uh, as I said. So that's beautiful. So let's tap into it. Let's see what we have coming and going out going on, Spirit. So what messages do you have? So who is this? Who or what is our beautiful uh, collective attracting to them? And so what we have is 81 leadership. See that? So meditating to get things straight. Defining moment. So you are the ones taking the reins. You are in control. Um, you're aware of your power. And I feel like you're questioning, like, where would I be had I not taken the initiative? Had I not, you know, um, stood erect, stood my ground, stood up for what I believed in? Had I not really, you know, done that introspective or reflective work? It's like now you are attracting uh, your power. It's like you, you, you are attracting um, what you know you deserve. And it's because you're owning your power, I should say. Uh, with this leadership, I feel like you've bossed up. So maybe you have come out of a very meek or shy um, persona um, and you've taken on that that bold and, and risky and daring um, attitude. Like you were fearless, you know, you, you were very strong and, and, and confident in your actions. So with this three and this nine here, that's still nine. And I feel like it's because you took the time to assess. It's like spirit sat you down to show you that, you know, show you who you are, show you what you're capable of. Um, we have Angela Bofield and uh, Bofield, and this is called I Try. So I feel like you, you, you were trying uh, for quite some time, perhaps to accomplish something, uh, and you just realize that you didn't need to try; just do. Uh, failure is is healthy, you know. Um, you're not going to always just you know out the gate just win. Sometimes it takes a couple of losses for you to realize how strong you are, or to realize that you need to regroup, re-strategize, and then reapproach. 
Um, and I just get a sense of like, because you never gave up, because you braved your light, uh, because that 93, like I said, that breaks down to three, uh, because, and that deals with the solar plexus, which is all about your confidence, which is all about you being, um, you know, having that sense of, of uh, courage and, and wise dome um, and knowing who you are because you've taken the time to heal yourself because you know uh, your worth and value. Uh, it's like now you are owning this, this energy of being a leader, being a boss. You're owning it now because you believe it. Um, so with this, I try uh, how someone feels about you or what this energy feels about you is that you've tried um, and you've tried again and you've tried again and now you are uh, in harmony with yourself because we have domestic harmony here on the bottom of the deck and that 26 breaks down to one so it's as if you've gotten back to one um, so you could have lost yourself along the way and that's why it was important for you to take the time out to regroup to recharge your batteries to reset to recuperate, to rejuvenate your spirit, and now you're going to step back out there with this vigor and with this confidence, this intensity now. And this is very beautiful. I love it. So let's tap in, beloveds. So how does this uh, energy, how does this person or this situation feel about our beloved collectives? We get a message of peace, power, and protection. Thank you, spirit. So we have 32 music. 32 music, so that's telling me to listen to this song. Some of you could be dealing with someone named Angela. Uh, but with I Try, I feel like, you know, um, that you're trying something different. Uh, I feel like whatever it is, I feel like it's going to be successful uh, because you are owning your power. Like you're doing something fearlessly uh, and, and, and you're being very tenacious, very diligent in your approach because you may have your eyes on the prize. Some of you may be pursuing, um, you know, a music career. Maybe you are artists in that form. Uh, this 32 breaks down to five. That deals with the Hierophant. So perhaps some of you all are, um, you know, embarking upon, uh, you know, one of your passions. Maybe you are a musician, you could be a producer, and maybe you're just saying, you know what, I'm going to put myself out there and I'm going to start producing some songs and I'm going to just, you know, upload them. You know, uh, maybe you are singers and you're doing the same thing. Maybe this has nothing to do with music. Maybe it just has everything to do with your passion. And it's like music to your ears, just waking up and and just honing that skill, mastering that craft. It is just like it's, it's something you love and it's something that's first nature. Uh, perhaps some of you all are just really maturing now. Uh, growing, you're, you're studying something. Maybe you are um, in a space where you've just discovered what your passion is. So you could be per potentially pursuing music. Maybe you're learning piano. Um, maybe you're taking piano lessons or you're taking guitar lessons or you're learning how to play the drum. You're learning something, I feel, for the first time. Um, this is like a dream of yours. This is like you're following your dreams uh, because that three and that five reduces to eight. So it feels like, you know, maybe you're following your dreams in a certain area because you've just had a wake up call that um, you've been trying to, to get in where you fit in uh, for long enough. And now you feel more inspired and encouraged to follow your dreams and follow that passion. Uh, that's, uh, you know, kind of burning inside of you. What we have on the bottom of the deck of what you have hidden is we have love partnerships. So this love partnership, that breaks down to eight. That's another eight. So you got eight and eight. That's 16. That breaks down to seven. So if this is a love connection, connection, you know, this could be someone with that 32 and how they feel about you. They may feel like your name is music to their ears. Maybe they feel like in the past you have tried and maybe there was uh, on their behalf um, some hesitation. And now it's like they could be looking at things from a different perspective and looking at this connection as perhaps uh, a wish fulfillment or something that will make them happy. Maybe they're rushing in towards you to express something that they have been holding back if this is another person. If this is in fact just you pursuing your dreams, I feel like you may find a love ship or a love connection um, 
by doing so uh, it's going to align you with someone that is destined to be in your life I feel like you know we have um, who is this playing who is this and this is De La Soul me myself and I so you know with that time out that's exactly what you've been doing and so rising power to the plug oh man he just passed away so that's just that just made me sad oh but um yeah so and that's plug two so rising power to plug two but yeah dave dave is his name from de la soul um so yeah someone may have definitely uh taken some time out uh to really find balance to really uh get into equilibrium with me myself and I uh, because that timeout just shows that you're really secluded isolated and just kind of doing that reflective work you know um, taking internal self audits uh, you know the it's almost like that energy of a hermit um, kind of detaches unplugs disconnects to go within because that's where the answers that you seek are found they're found from within uh, so that's a beautiful energy uh, and when you you know love yourself you know because me myself and i is like you're really uh taking ownership of of um of really getting into uh harmony with yourself as we saw and i feel like that's when there's going to be some uh positive uh movements forward you're gonna take positive action because you are now uh balanced uh this eight and this eight that we have here breaks down to 16 which is seven that's associated with the crown chakra so that's really about trusting your intuition and using discernment uh, when you're making decisions uh, because that's what you've grown you've learned to do uh, throughout your growth throughout your your, your growing pains uh, and that's also associated with the chariot which speaks to more uh, assertiveness you're, you're moving with this assertiveness and uh, courage and it's because you know who you are it's because you've learned you've matured uh, there's been a level of maturation here with this 32 5 music as your energy it's like you've learned to trust yourself uh, and 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 uh, prioritize you honor you value you so that's beautiful and what you're attracted is you could potentially be attracting uh, a love interest with this love partnership here 26 this is someone that could be either coming into your life or uh, maybe you could be returning to someone uh, maybe you've walked away from a love partnership and moving towards um, you know prioritizing yourself because the eight of cups is really like moving away from things people circumstances that you feel um you know there was no equal exchange of give and take you feel like you've given and given and given so much of yourself and never received anything in return so you walk away from that that's really about self-love it's really about loving you yourself and you and when you do that you get to the nine which is the nine of cups which is really about um you know protecting your heart that's why on the traditional tarot card uh, you'll see that nine of um, cups depicted as um you know uh an energy you know kind of like sitting there with a huge smile and cups behind him but his his arms are crossed over the heart chakra because it's as if there's a sense of being protective um in matters of the heart uh and fulfilling yourself being able to fill your own cup because love is an inside job you have to first love you uh first and foremost and so i feel like that is uh your priority now and that's why you're moving um uh, you're having some positive movements forward so let's tap in so let's find out what's hidden in the energy that was what was on the bottom of the deck so what's hidden in the energy for our beautiful collective let me get a message of peace, power, and protection. And so we have Abi Okai, and this is called Offering. So some of you all could be giving offerings to your beloved ancestors at this time. And we have on the bottom of the deck, 71 Health. So mind your thoughts, don't ruminate, pine over circumstances. Definitely give yourself the grace and space to, um, you know, to release what doesn't serve you to purge you know to purify your energy clean clear cleanse 
so maybe you need to do some cleansing within your household, smudging, um, you know, with sage, palo santo, frankincense, and myrrh. Uh, you could even smudge with, you know, incense sticks. Uh, you could even, you know, um, put a pot of water on and you could, you know, boil cinnamon. You could boil allspice uh, seeds. You could boil lemon. Uh, there's so many things you could do. You could boil roux, um, but that also helps to cleanse and uh, just kind of like neutralize the energy within your home. The cards that flew out for what's hidden in the energy is we have 66 healing and we also had patience. So whenever I see double numbers, I always feel like that's you attracting, uh, you know, someone that's in your likeness, someone that is mirroring your energy. And so with this healing, there definitely has been, uh, you know, some accountability on healing thyself, loving thyself, nurturing thyself, being patient with thyself. With this too, that's associated with the sacral chakra, which is all about moving to the beat of your drum, but also prioritizing you. This is also the number associated with the high priestess or high priest. Um, so there is a sense of like trusting your intuition or even knowing um, that good things take time to create. Um, you know, so it's like you have to be patient with the process. So that's really about being um, in equilibrium and not in conflict, uh, not it's stuck in two minds or feeling stuck and pulled in two directions or stuck, uh, you know, between a rock and a hard place. Uh, 66 reduces to 12. So that again is associated with that hangman that we saw earlier uh, with the 93. And I feel like there is a positive conclusion to something uh, because what's hidden in the energy is someone is definitely uh, mirroring your energy, uh, as we can see here uh, because the six and the six is the healing so I do feel like you have focused on healing yourself you focused on um, you know making sure that you are in alignment mind body and soul I feel like you could not have done this work had it not been for your angels your guides um, your spirit team and so I feel like with Abi Okai uh, you know singing offerings um, I feel like that is a reminder to you know devote time in front of your altars or devote time communicating and giving offerings to your ancestors to your deities to your spiritual parents the gods the goddesses even to mother Gaia mother the earth daughter earth um you know uh go out you could plant um a tree outside that is an offering you could also place fruit in front of a tree uh pour libation um light a candle on an altar if you don't have an altar perhaps this is a sign or um, an indication uh, that you may need to do that. It doesn't have to be anything big and elaborate, uh, but just something as 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 um, intimate as you know, on a small desk or table. You could just put a picture of a deity that you really resonate with and really feel is a spiritual parent or you have a very strong connection with, and you can light a candle. Put all of the elements. You know, a candle. That's the fire element. You could light an incense. That's the air element and place uh, water, you know, a, a, a glass of water. Um, and you could also uh, burn some, some Palo Santo or some sage, you know, on a disc, on a charcoal disc. Um, and, and that is the way that you can uh, pay homage and give offerings to those uh, ancestors, to those deities, those angels um, that are uh, giving you these little uh, nuggets of information or these divine downloads. Uh, what we have playing right now is we have uh, Camp Low, and this is called Lucini, aka This Is It. So this is dope. That's one of my favorite songs. I love this song. So this is it. So I feel like, you know, you have reached a very pinnacle point in your life. Remember, definition was playing earlier. And so I was feeling like there's a def definitive moment that's taking place, especially with this happy ending. It's like you have worked your way to this. This 66... 12 breaks down to three. So this is telling me you're healing from past pains, healing from disappointments, healing from even past traumas, wounds, uh, you know, healing from 
things that have affected you in a way and um, it required you to be patient it required you to be uh, kind to yourself to give yourself the grace to give yourself even the space to heal uh, a lot of us lose uh, focus on what's important we we out here trying to get the bag or we out here chasing dollars and 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 we really have to make sure that we are healthy mind body and soul um, so it does require uh, you know sometimes for you to tap out of the ma of tricks which has you thinking that you're supposed to be chasing something um, when you are always supposed to uh, you know assure that you are healthy because your health is your wealth you know um, you can't go chasing a dollar and then your 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 uh, you know your your de uh, debilitated in some way physically or emotionally or spiritually you know your your uh, you know unhealthy or imbalanced you know there's no way that you can acquire uh, any type of success when you are not in harmony so I feel like that's why what's hidden here is that uh, there's a lot of healing going on uh, the work that you're doing uh, in addition to the work that your guides are um, assisting you with so this is very powerful and this uh, three and this two breaks down to five which is again showing that there is a sense of mirroring uh, what's hidden in the energy is the mirroring because remember your energy was also uh, 32 which is 5 so 66 breaks down to 12 that's 3 and then the 2 that patience and I just want to show you so you can see the two fives that I am referencing just in case you need to see so you see that so that's 5 and 5 and so you know there's definitely an energy of mirroring which we see with the 66 so whoever you're attracting um, you know this is going to be healthy for you uh, and I feel like it's because You've changed your own vibration. You've uh, prioritized you. And with this is it, I feel like this is the end of some sort of chapter. So you've completed a karmic lesson or you've learned some karmic lessons. And this is the end of that chapter. Something's coming full circle because uh, this five and this five breaks down to ten, which denotes endings. But every ending, that ten reduces to one. It becomes a new beginning. So you are starting something over. This is beautiful. And with this three and this one, that's four. So I feel like there's been healing, healing of the heart chakra, which has now allowed for you to open up your heart, open up your heart to your passions, to your desires. Um, you're following your heart's truest desires. Uh, there's no more fears because whatever, uh, whatever uh, insecurities you may have dealt with or whatever uh, false expectations uh, you may have had, uh, pertaining to others, um, you know, whatever heartbreak or heartache or disappointments you may have experienced, it's like you've healed those things. That's why you're having this happy ending because the beginning wasn't so good, you know, and so now you are having some sort of happy ending uh, with this four. Uh, that also is associated with the emperor. So that's telling me that there's uh, this level of self-mastery that you have reached. It's also telling me that you've bossed up. So if you're working on any type of uh, goal or if you are pursuing a particular dream, you will absolutely uh, accomplish that dream. You will acquire that because the emperor and the empress are the entrepreneurs. Uh, they turn a thought into reality. They take action. And that's why this leadership is here because there is this sense of like just owning your power now, knowing who you are and being fearless, being, you know, relentless um, and acquiring uh, whatever that is. We have Dennis Edwards and uh, Saidia Sa uh, Garrett. This is called Don't Look Any Further. So you may have a divine masculine if you're a feminine energy. Um, even if you're a divine masculine, uh, you know, in a same sex relationship, you, you have someone that knows now that there's no need to look any further because what they're looking for, it, it, it ends with you. Um, so there is someone that could potentially be very attracted to you now um, and realizing perhaps that there's love or there just could be some sense of um, feeling very feeling feeling very uh, stable at this time maybe someone has been holding on to you uh, they have not let you or the idea 
of this connection, of this union, of this partnership, of this alliance. They haven't let it go. Maybe there's a sense of them feeling that there's a uh, distance or um, a little, you know, you've uh, set perhaps boundaries. Uh, but this is someone that's been uh, searching all over the world or searching everywhere. Uh, and they know now they, they, they needn't look f any further than you. Uh, you could be dealing with someone named Dennis Edwards, first middle of last, uh, Sidea, uh, or Garrett, or they could just have a D E S or G, uh, initial in their name. Um, so let's pull some additional messages. I'm going to pull a message for the outcome. So what is the outcome for the collective? Let me get a message of peace, power, and protection spirit. Thank you. So we got a couple of messages here, bottom of the deck. We have pride. So there's definitely an ego. Someone's having an ego death here. And that's um, perhaps because maybe in the past there was a bit of smugness. With don't look any further, there could have possibly been other options. And that could have had someone gassed, you know. And now they're having, you know, now there's... Uh, this ego death because now they realize they needn't look any further or they should not have looked any further than you um, So what we have here is we have surrender This has uh, come out for the outcome perseverance and oh wow You got a lot of messages here beloved. You got 44 environment. You have seven personal growth. You have uh, 87 synchronicity and you have time out so the two cards that flew out um, earlier uh, came back out for the outcome so 91 surrender that's one so I feel if someone was fighting it because the 91 and the 19 this is what the 19 is on the bottom of the deck and so the 91 and 19 are basically the numbers are reversed and so I feel like someone was kind of like fighting a situation and now they're willing to surrender because they're realizing they uh, shouldn't have looked any further than you if this is a person that you're attracting, you know, or perhaps maybe something you were looking for uh, external to self. You're realizing that, um, you know, you shouldn't look any further than yourself. Like you should give yourself the credit with this uh, for perseverance. This is that green, beautiful color that I was seeing with that for, you know, healing. You know, you've persevered through past pains and traumas, taking the time to recuperate, taking the time to recover from disappointments of the past. That's why that healing card was there, because you've been through great pain. You know, I'm getting the three of swords with the 66 that breaks down to 12. Um, so the three of swords is really like you, you were betrayed, you were deceived, you were hurt. You could have had the demise of a relationship, friendships, maybe even the demise of a, a particular career you were pursuing. Maybe you were laid off. Maybe you were terminated. Uh, maybe you were dealing with very toxic individuals. Um, and maybe spirit, you know, just kind of awakened you to the truth that you, you possessed the very um, ability to uh, acquire what you wanted with your own skill sets. So there's nothing outside of you that could provide what you were looking for you f had to find it within yourself had to believe in yourself had to believe in your ability we have jodeci singing love you for life so someone definitely could have come to the realization that they love you for life especially with that dennis edwards that was playing uh before this so someone did make a you know they kind of pump faked and you know made a mistake and 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 had to find out the hard way they effed around and found out. <laughs> That's what I heard loud in my mind. I did an effed around and found out that um, you were the real deal. With this 44, so you got 444 four, four here. So perhaps your angels, your ancestors are aligning you with your person, with your purpose. This is a beautiful spirit, um, you know, angel that is working with you, with your, with your energy um, and aligning you. With love you for life, you could be absolutely... Uh, coming into a very sacred connection or bond with someone four times three is 12 so that's uh, breaks down to three someone has definitely contemplated they've been forced to see you in a different light also 
it's like someone didn't see you or see your worth or didn't value you at the time maybe because there was distractions maybe there were other people or maybe someone overlooked you for a promotion because they didn't see uh, your skill set or they didn't acknowledge your skill set and maybe for a long time you could have accepted that and now you love yourself so now you know your worth now you know your value so you're no longer settling what we have here is seven personal growth so you've definitely grown from you know the person that you once were so there had to be this death of the old you and the birth you know of the new you so you have grown tremendously and you've also learned to trust your intuition and to use discernment when you make decisions especially when it comes to love you're first going to love yourself you're first going to do that if anyone has an issue with that then you're you're not going to deal with that because you're not you you have you're so far removed uh, from anything that is um, toxic you're no longer going backwards you're moving forward you're moving upwards and onward because you love you now with love you for life i feel like you love you some of you can be from north carolina charlotte because that's where jodeci is from so we have 87 synchronicity here and that means that you're in harmony you're in equilibrium now because you've done the work and absolutely let's do the math on all these cards once i pull this last card which is time out so you're in harmony with yourself and i feel like you as i said earlier you're having a lot of synchronized events there's a lot of things that's happening um and it's literally like it's 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 happening so frequently that you know that you're being led to a certain direction you're being aligned with a particular purpose or a particular passion um, perhaps even a person uh, but this is a beautiful energy and we have ramp come into knowledge so that's what you know the personal growth is all, all about you're coming into knowledge that you didn't have before so you know with this time out that's because you've taken the time out to obtain this knowledge so you've done the work as I said, with that five, you know, that's the hierophant. So that's an energy of tutelage. It's an energy of learning. Um, you could be sitting at the feet of a pastor, preacher, master, teacher, Sufi, a healer, shaman, light worker. You could be studying. You could be reading, researching. But this is about learning, you know. And what you've learned is that you have to be, you have to live in your truth. That's also a card, you know, the hierophant is really also about um, again, um, it's institution. So you could be coming into, uh, you know, a situation where you now know where you want to take the direction of your life in terms of your career, because you've taken time to hone a particular skill, gift, or talent. And now you're pursuing that full time. Now you're going after that fearlessly. You, you, you've, you've broken free from the chains of fear and other people's doubt and now you're free from that you've taken the time out to assess perhaps even people who have doubted you or who've tried to plant seeds of fear you've taken the time out and you've gained the epiphany that you need to cut yourself free and have a fresh start because you've come into knowledge of who you are and what you're capable of that's powerful so let's uh, clarify these messages beloved i'm going to use um what am I going to use? I'm going to use a different deck, actually. <clears throat> We're going to use a different deck. We're going to use the um, melanated deck. So, let's see what we have here. So, on the bottom of the deck, look what we have. And before we do that, I said I was going to uh, peep the math. So, let me see. We got three, three and five. That's eight. 8 and 3, that's 11, that's 2, 2 and 2, that's 4, 4 and 1, that's 5, 5 and 4, that's 9, 9 and 8, that's 8, 8 and 7, that's 15, that's 6, 6 and 6, that's 12, that's 3, 3 and 1, that's 4. So yeah, this 4 here, this is about the love of self. You've come into knowledge about the importance of self-love. When you love yourself, then that means you are um, disciplined, you know. You've had to heal yourself in order to love yourself. And when you love yourself, that means you know thyself. So you've come into the knowledge of self. 
very, very powerful message, beloveds. This is very powerful. And we have on the bottom of the deck the Ten of Wands. So you're relieving yourselves of any burdens that no longer belong to you. Any belief systems, any people that were, you know, just um, opportunistic. You're no longer feeling the need to appease and please. You've been carrying around a lot on your own for a long time. And you've come into knowledge that you can alleviate yourself of this stress, this aggravation, and lessen your load by just letting all of this nonsense go. You've come into knowledge and that 10 reduces to 1. And that's the action that you will eventually take. See that? This is where you've, you know, had to do that introspective work with the four swords on the split you've had the epiphany that you've been carrying a lot of burdens and half of this ish don't even belong to you some of that could have been learned behavior some of that could have been your friends nonsense your or your fake friends nonsense your family members nonsense your lovers and 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 you're recovering here because remember i said i saw the three of swords with the 66 to 12 healing so this is what this, you know, it's like you've moved out of the space of heartache and loss. And the healing is because you've taken the time to reflect, to assess. Perhaps you went and you just kind of like meditated to get things straight. And now you're seeing things clearly. So this is very powerful energy. And what we have playing right now is Michelle something in my heart so you definitely were betrayed because i just saw the ten of swords and the ten of wands so that definitely speaks to a completion so with something in my heart i feel like a lot of you all were heartbroken because there's a lot of references to the heart this all all these cards that are here uh all reduced to four i just did the math so all of this reduces to four. So this was, in fact, about opening up your heart chakra, healing first your heart chakra, but now opening it back up, not being so reserved, not being so closed off, being more receptive. That's why that surrender card came out, because spirit doesn't want you to be hardened by your experiences. You learn, you come into the knowledge, which is know the ledge, and then you move accordingly with the knowledge that you've obtained. Because wisdom, wise dome, is the application of the knowledge that you've obtained. That's why this four perseverance is here. You've persevered because you've taken the time to reflect, to heal, to recharge, to rejuvenate. You did some re re. That's that re re work. So let's tap in, beloved. Let's clarify these messages and then we're going right out. Ah, Sheo. And there goes the world. Look at that. The world and then the fool together. So that is also double confirmation that you have reached a level of self-mastery. The world is the last card of the major arcana. So that means that you have deep, you know, reached that deeper, more profound um, understanding of you. And you couldn't, you know, obtain that understanding of you had you not gone through or grew from the experiences that you've had. So you have to give yourself uh you know be proud be proud of yourselves that's why the happy ending opened up the deck so look what we have here six of swords so i was feeling like some of you all were moving away that's why you're happy now you know because you make the decision to move on and move away you know you're, you're definitely moving away and i feel like you're following your heart this is what it's leading you to do is to uh take action you know, there's a definite change because the 6 and 93 still reduces to 9. 9 is the highest number in vibration of change. So you've birthed some new idea to go and create a sacred space elsewhere to move away from the drama, the toxicity, the negativity. Because remember, you've, you've, you've lessened your load by unburdening yourself, by, you know, no longer carrying other people's burdens, by no longer uh, carrying other people's negativity. It's like you've released it, you've let it go, and you're moving away, moving on, and creating a new safe space. I was feeling some of you all could have potentially been moving. You're moving perhaps from a different, um, you know, moving to a different locality, moving to a different, uh, I heard country, different state. You're like you're moving, moving, like you're getting as far away from the negativity as you possibly can. And that is going to make you super excited 
elated, and you're going to feel content. And you're following something in your own heart. You're going to love you. This is the Queen of Cups. So this is really about self-love. You've really nurtured everyone around you. I feel like, you know, with this Queen of Cups showing up, it's just showing how you were very tender, loving, and caring, very nurturing, very maternal, very uh, loyal and faithful to those connections. And I feel like you didn't get that in return, which is why you're you're feeling compelled to, to move away. I also feel with this leadership... Um, this is about loving you now. This is about, you know, taking onus and accountability. This is powerful. So divine spirit of peace, power, and protection. Why is this 81 leadership here for what our beloved collective is attracting to them? Thank you, spirit. And we have the knight of swords. So I feel like this is just speaking like, you know, saying you're speaking your truth and you're not backing down. You know, this is really about, you know, expressing yourself. They could also be, you know, um, you know, uh, as I said, you're, you're, you're standing up for what you believe in. So maybe in the past you could have been a little more meek, you know, uh, non-confrontational, if that's what you want to call it. But now it's like you're, you're, you're speaking your truth. You know, you're, you're saying what you feel. You're saying what you have to say. But I feel there's a warning to just be mindful, be tactful. You know, in the way that you're saying things. Because look how the, this, this horse is afraid. Because that's how fast they're going. So sometimes maybe, you know, spirit is, is saying that you have the potential to respond or react without thinking. Or maybe this is something someone did in the past. You know, maybe you are... Um, you know, you have someone like approaching you with this, with this, this, uh, you know, abruptly saying things. And with something in my heart, I feel like spirit is just telling you, tr trust your heart, you know, trust, trust what's in your heart, what you feel. Maybe someone just feels this intensity because they feel, uh, you know, they feel inspired because something in their heart is now. You know, that maybe their heart is now kind of, I mean, I'm just getting a sense of like maybe someone was numb or they didn't emote and now they feel very um, inspired, motivated to say something. And we have the three of cups on the bottom of the deck. So I feel like someone wants to reunite, reconnect, or there could be some celebratory moment. You will be rejoicing. You will, be, you will be rejoicing over a decision you've made, something that you have done um, in the past. It's like it's going to pay off. And we have Mary J. Blige. Uh, this is called Mary, uh, Mary Jane All Night Long. So something you've been working on all night long, there will be some sort of reward, victory here, celebrations. I, I see people like saying cheers, like, you know. With Mary J. Blige thing and Mary Jane, some of you all smoke some herbs, some cannabis, some some chiba chiba, or maybe you're dealing with someone named Mary Jane, first, middle, or last, or someone with MJ in their name. But I do feel like with all night long, um, some of you are working all night. You working straight through the night into the early AMs on a particular skill or gift, talent. This is like you're 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 really going to reap the benefits and the rewards of your your hard work and your efforts. And I'm hearing the early worm gets the the early bird gets the worm. And then I'm seeing an inchworm in my mind's eye. So it's like you have worked tediously, diligently, tirelessly is what I'm hearing. Like you have been this has been laborious. You know, like you, you, you're very passionate about whatever this is you're working on. Even if you're in school, it's something that you're very passionate about. I'm hearing nutritionists, like some of you could be studying nutritionists, like nutrition or herbalists, sound therapists, Reiki, music. You could be musicians, you could be playing uh, instruments, you could be learning to read sheet music is all is what I'm hearing also. And maybe you're learning uh, something and you're just like 
up all night long uh, mastering that craft. And I feel like Spirit is saying your hard work is going to pay off. You will be uh, celebrating a vic, you know, a victory. That's powerful. Divine Spirit, peace, power, and protection. What messages you have for the collective? Why is this 32 music here for how the energy feels? For how they feel about our beloved collective? It's personal. Thank you. And we have a fool. So the fool did come back out. This is a fresh start, wanting to start over. Starting back at ground zero. You know, this is about starting at that, that zero point, which is a very powerful uh, energy. This is beautiful. I love this. Because this is like a new beginning. It's like you're taking that leap of faith, as I said, to go towards a particular dream or go after a dream. It's like you're following your dream. I really love the way that this is, you know, playing out. Because it's like your hard work does play, uh, does play a huge factor in this. And that zero is definitely uh, resonant with the energies and attributes of eternity. This is a beginning point. This is like, you know, starting back at one. It's about affinity, you know, infinity, pardon me, uh, oneness, wholeness. It's about the flow. It's a beautiful energy. It encompasses, you know, the attributes of all the numbers. Zero is an alpha number, which is the beginning, and the omega, the highest. Wow, this is powerful. So, you know, you, 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 I feel like there's, there's this, this, power that you're starting to own. It's as if you, you're realizing your potential. You're realizing your potential and you're, you're going to, um, take steps to follow this spiritual journey. This is powerful. I love it. The bottom of the deck, you have the seven of swords. So the seven of swords is why you're healing. It required you to heal uh, because you was, you know, perhaps you were duped by someone, you know, who was very um, deceptive. The seven of swords could also speak to self-deception. So even if you, you know, you may not have really initially realized you were de deceiving yourself, uh, but maybe there were some red flags that you didn't pay attention to. And so that's why, you know, that four of swords showed up because it's really about, um, you know, taking the time to reflect and to assess your actions and to take accountability when needed, when required, to own up, to take onus of what, of your participation, you know, of, of, of any breakdown, any demise of a relationship, you participated in that as well. Because maybe there were moments you should have spoke up and you didn't. Maybe there were red flags that you didn't pay attention to and you should have. So that's the onus. You can't always, um, you should never see yourself as a victim. There's always a lesson to be learned. Everyone comes into our lives to teach us a lesson or we're in theirs to teach them one. But it's always a lesson to be learned. And that's why we have this patience here. Because some of you were holding on and harboring resentment, animosity, and you had to heal that. You had to let go of that. Because it was, it was hardening you. It was blocking you. It was blocking you from from you being able to love yourselves or to love again. And now that you've been able to do that, it's just like spirit was teaching you, you know, because this is the three and the two, which is the five. That's the hierophant. This is about learning. So you were learning straight from source, straight from spirit. This matured you, this experience. It absolutely matured you. This is like literally a growing pain. And you grew through it, but you've learned. And you're going to take action and move forward. You was dealing with someone who's playing mind games because we have someone, we have Chucky Booker singing games. So someone was playing mind games. They was up in mind, up in you, gaslighting you potential, uh, potentially. You know, with this nine of swords, this is someone who felt entitled, taking more than they're willing to give and leaving you in a perpetual state of confusion. I feel like neither of you uh, speak to one another and there was no communication. Maybe you felt blocked communicatively, you know, because this person just kind of, just kind of always kept you in an illusion. 
because the five also deals with the throat chakra. So I feel like you weren't speaking your truth or expect expressing your truth. And with games, that was because someone was playing the games, playing mind games. This was someone who was a, a, a gift a gabber. You know, they, they talk a good game that you was dealing with. So we have two messages here. See that? I can't make this up. This is powerful. It could have been breadcrumbing, as I said initially as well, if this was a person. You know, even if this was, um, you know, someone that you were dealing with at your place of employment. You know, see this? Now there's regret and remorse for the Queen of Pentacles and the Five of Cups. And this is why there's healing. You know, this is what's hidden is the healing and the patience. So someone is definitely having regrets, having remorse for playing games because now they see that you've turned your back and you focused on you. Whether you're masculine or feminine, you know, this is how they see you as someone who's self-sufficient and independent. You know, you, you've been able to recover nicely. You've been able to recover after some sort of disappointment. This person could have breadcrumbed you, gave you bits and pieces. You know, wasn't very, um, wasn't very kind because they didn't see your worth. You know, they gave more attention to others than they gave you. And now there's deep regrets because whatever they were uh, paying close attention to, maybe they got played for Booba the Fool as well. Because you attract what you are ultimately. So if you're dealing with a player energy, they're going to attract other player energies. And the player eventually gets played. With the Six of Pentacles, I'm also getting a sense of like, you know, um, someone received karma. You know, this, this, this scales. It's like, you know, someone received karma. Uh, this also was about you uh, finding your own balance and being responsible um, for your own healing. Like I said, you can't you can't play the victim. You know, yes, people can wrong you. Yes, it's 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 possible for people to hurt you, uh, but you can't stay in that place and use it as an excuse to remain bitter, to be jaded, to be angry, to hold on to resentment and animosity towards others. It's your business to heal thyself. And you do, because we see that you've persevered. And we see, you know, and these are two green cards and they flew out back to back. So that shows the dedication, you know, that you uh, took to to get back to one. As we saw, come into knowledge. So you came into knowledge that, you know, you cannot allow others, uh, you know, to to energetically anchor you, you know, to to rob you of your peace of mind, and your happiness. So let's tap in. You are not responsible for anybody else's actions but your own. So divine spirit of peace, power, protection. Let's get this last message for our collective. And then we're going to wrap it up. Ashe. So why is 91 surrender for perseverance, environment, 7 personal growth, 87 synchronicity, and time out here for the outcome? Thank you, spirit. And we have the king of swords. Look at that on the bottom of the deck. This is decisions. This is someone very stoic. This is someone very wise. And you can see the King of Swords. They say that when you go through something, look at this, all the clarity you have now. So this is what you, I'm, I'm showing you the cards in the bottom of the deck. And then I will show you the card that flew out, which is the lovers. That's beautiful. So these are the cards that's on the bottom of the deck. So see how you did your work gradually. So you went into that space of introspection, reflecting recovering, that's that re, -re energy, and taking onus, then you gain the epiphany. And things become brighter and lighter because you're no longer harboring resentment. That shit weighs you down, part of my language. But that's why it's important to forgive because it's for you ultimately, not the other person. And that brings happiness because you're no longer bound by anything. And then you become this king of swords where you now see everything clear as day. And you could take that sword and you could cut yourself free from the illusions, cut yourself free from the people, places, and things that no longer serve you. The lovers flew out to clarify all of the messages. So this is you not only being in harmony with yourself, but this is also you coming into union with a potential love interest. What we have playing is Martin Gay. Come live with me, angel. So you may have some beautiful offers. Uh, you may find someone, because remember, all of these cards reduce to four. Four is the vibration of 11-11, which is the twin flame union, sacred partnership. This is yin and yang. This is an angel. 
that is overseeing this union. This is an angel that could be conspiring behind the scene to bring this union in, which is why ultimately they said surrender because you are coming into a partnership that is so worth it. And this is not just any old partnership with the six lovers. This is a twin flame. This is the yin to your yang, yin to your yin. This is a cosmic companion. And the sun is right behind that. Remember you had the sun show up and then you have the sun right behind the angel. So this is why you have a happy ending. Because you did your work. When you do your work, you're rewarded. Even if this isn't a love per se, this could be a business partnership. This could be you coming into some sort of lucrative business partnership. And it's going to be very successful because you took the time to work on yourself. With come live with me angel, that could just speak to your angels being with you. Setting up altars, you know, and the angels will be there protecting you and guarding you, your home, your belongings, and your endeavors, you know. Uh, but this is a powerful, powerful message. If it is love, I feel like this is absolutely going to lead to marriage and commitment and someone proposing ultimately because that four is associated with the heart chakra. So there could be someone even confessing messages of love. But I feel like there's something very beautiful that is uh, happening, as I said earlier, a very definitive moment in your life is taking place. And I just feel like all you have to do is trust the process and trust your intuition and move accordingly. But this is your reading collective. I hope the messages resonated. Until next time, I send a big fat ashe, yo. Peace.